viewers, you are welcome to the Lord TV, your number one fantastic reality TV that gives you all that it takes to be enlightened on trending news, such as politics, entertainment, sports, and what have you. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button as well as already subscribed. So please don't forget to drop your comments anytime I drop new videos. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Viewers, today's headline reads People question why Nnamdekano's parents weren't buried with Biafran flag on their coffin. But before I proceed, don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons and the bell buttons to get updated anytime we upload new videos. Thank you. The news in details. Since the burial ceremony of Nnamdekano's parents held on 14th February 2020, some people have been asking why they did not see the Biafran flag on the coffin. Some actually said it's a mark of respect as it has usually been that a Biafran, especially those freedom fighters, are laid to rest with Biafran flag on their coffin, as in the case of Odenibu, who died in U.S. Could it be that Kano's parents were not in the support of the Biafran movement, or they asked not to be buried with it? Thank you for listening to this news. Bureaus. Whether they are buried with Biafran flags or not is not an issue. It's not something we should be deliberating on. But we should all know and bear this in mind that the both couple both died on the struggle for the actualization of Biafra. They died because they want to stand behind their son while this struggle for the actualization of Biafra is actualized. But then, so sorry that they departed and were not able to see the day this will be actualized, of which I know it has been actualized already. At least they have been buried. That is what we should know. May the soul of Unamdekano's parents rest in perfect peace. So, my fellow Nigerians, let us have it in mind that these two couples together fought for this actualization. Let us have it in mind that when they were alive, because of this struggle, they both stood behind their son. They gave him the support. They stood by him strongly. They faced the crowd. They faced the government. They faced the ministers, the lawyers. They faced everybody faceable, not minding what the world would say. They never mind. Even when the son was running elter skater because of the struggle, they were still by him. They would never give up. You can see how it was the, 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 the Biafran logo was crest on the gates of the king. That is a sign that we are bona fide members and supporters of Biafran. Nam the Kanu family are true Biafrans and these are the people that we should believe that fought for the struggle and not any other person. Let's forget Owazuriki that is boasting and, and shouting that he has achieved it. Where and how did he do it? My fellow Bia Nigerians, what I expected of us is to join Nnamdekano in this race. You have heard from him that now 
that his parents have departed. This is the next line of action. Why don't you try to know what this line, next line of action is from the IPOP leader and follow him up so that together Nigerians and IPOP members will actualize this dream. This is my opinion. I don't know what is your own opinion. Don't forget to click on the subscribe buttons as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.